welcome to Sunfire Designs. Today I am going to be making a Ziggy pour and I'm gonna do it in a deep mold. Um, I'm using my um, ice chip mold. So we're gonna use this and we're gonna see how it comes out. I'm gonna use the color green. It's gonna be my main color with black. So I mix up 200 mils of Art Pro Resin this is um, the remainder of my stuff. I think it's 70. I think it is 70. Sorry, can't see. Um, yeah, it's between, it's like 75 mils of um, resin. And I used three drops of sap green from Liquitex. It's not very green at all, but it'll be green enough. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is my white. I made with Let's Resin Ocean White. I used two drops and this is 40 mils of resin. This is gonna be my mica powder. Um, this is 30 mils. I used one half, and I'm talking about this kind of spoon, okay? I got it at Hobby Lobby. I used one half a spoon, a flat spoon of bright white. Um, from Estoyo, and then I used one spoon of olive chameleon powder from Let's Resin and got this. It's not super opaque, but it's got a nice green sheen to it. So we'll see if we can actually see it. The last time I, my last pour I did, I couldn't see the purple I, I poured. So, all right, this is my black. You can see that also is not super black. It looks dark in this and it will be dark for what we need. It's just not super dark. I use six drops of um, Liquitex Carbon Black. And then I'm thinking for the center, I got these new, let me pour some into a cup. I got these new stones, they are so cool. I know they're like some kind of like glass but they are so pretty. It's like opal looking. I don't know if you can see that. It's really pretty opal looking. And I don't know what it's going to look like in the middle. Maybe I would need to mix it with dark stones. But I'm just going to go ahead and give it a shot. And we'll see how it goes. Okay. So I'm going to start off with my black. And I'm going to mix this up. and dump it in here. And that's 60 mils of the black. And if you're trying to use, if you usually use grams, 60 mils is approximately 60 grams. It's close enough that you could use grams and mils interchangeably. So I do all the time and I don't have any bad results from it. Okay, so that's in there. Now I'm going to do the white. There we go. And I wanna pour it kind of thick when I do this. So we'll do, I'm pouring it a little slower and making it a little thicker. Okay, now. I'm going to slide that there. Do it this way also. Okay, so I have a little bit left. Drop, drop, drop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it this way and kind of go diagonal to those two lines. My lines are not going to be quite as thick because I want to make sure I have enough to go all the way across. And if I do, I'll just trace my way back up. So I use it all. I'm doing pretty good. This is almost done. There we go. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna do my spiral with my white and olive. I don't know if you can see that in there, it looks so cool. 
my circle, my spiral is coming out a little bit zigzaggy because I'm pouring it slow. And so it's not pouring it like in a straight, it's pouring it, I don't know, zigzaggy, squirrely, swirly, more swirly than zigzaggy, but the lines aren't straight. Because I'm pouring it slower. All right, now I'm going to work my way back in. And just around. Almost done. All right, that's good. Now it's time for my sap green push. No idea how this is, end result is going to look. I think it might look kind of cool. I feel like it will, but you never know. Resin is fickle. It might like you today and like not cooperate tomorrow. What are you going to do? All right, let's stick some of these in. Okay, that's it. Let's make sure those end up going come somewhere kind of central as best as I can. All right, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna put on a time lapse so I can let this close up naturally. And then when it's almost closed, I will use the torch and help it close. I've been doing that for all of the pours I've done for this um, specific recipe. And I, I don't know if it's made a difference or not, but that's just kind of what I'm doing. So I'm gonna let it close as much as I can. And then um, if it's not closed or when it gets closer to closed, I will go ahead and torch it. All right, I will see you in the morning when it's time to unmold. Okay, let's see what my beautiful green beauty looks like. At least I'm hoping it will be a beauty. Like in the like olive greens or darker greens. Here we go. Oh, that came out so cool. Look at the middle. It's got those pearly rocks in it. That looks so good. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it that you can see the green, the green um, chameleon powder all the way throughout. So that one, that one stuck around. My last one, the purple one got lost. Oh, in that middle. Oh my gosh, I love it. Love it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.